Hello, today I'll be talking about my VIP experience with Death Angel, Creator, and Sepultura. So yeah, this was actually fairly recent actually. I saw these guys live at the Showbox in Seattle. I took a five hour bus ride from Spokane to Seattle to see these guys. And then, yeah, it was definitely worth it. But let's go ahead and first talk about the Death Angel VIP experience. Uh, that was what came first and it basically took place in the parking lot right by the venue and it started with us chatting with the band and also while also getting our stuff signed and yeah with death angel you do get this death angel vip laminate and they signed my vip laminate and i also had them sign my copy of the evil divide and my copy of humanicide so yeah after all the after we chatted with the band and all, got our things signed, we moved on to pictures and eventually they got to me and here is my picture with the band. But yeah, after that, um, after we got our each of our pictures with the band, we all came together, all the VIP people, including me, came together with the band and took a group picture and here's the group picture right here. But yeah, after that, that was it. Uh, they let us go on, go on our way. And yeah, Death Angel VIP, I'd say definitely worth it, especially if you're a big fan of the band or if there's stuff that you really want them to sign, definitely go ahead and do go for it. But yeah, after VIP with Death Angel, I think we had to wait um, like an hour or an hour and a half or around an hour until we get to uh, the Creator slash Sepultura VIP. They did VIP together of course and yeah eventually we got to doing vip with them uh they had us form a line and the, the band members were at tables and started with creator and with creator uh they had they signed uh this side of the clash of the titans laminate and this is a laminate that you get if you choose to do vip for creator and sepultura yeah, Creator signed this side, and Creator also signed this poster, and if you, if you do VIP for Creator and Sepultura, you will get this poster right here. So yeah, with that poster, Creator and Sepultura signed it. Definitely really cool. But yeah, Creator signed my copy of Hate Uber Alice also. But yeah, moving on from Creator, we got to the table with the Sepultura members and with Sepultura, of course, they signed that poster over there. And they also signed this side of the laminate and they signed my copy of Quadra. So yeah, after all the signings, they, they were having us be in a line and after everyone got their things signed and all that good stuff, um, we eventually moved on to taking pictures with these bands. And before I move into that, before I forget, uh, if you do VIP for Sepultura slash Creator, you will get this, this tote bag thing here. And you also get this wristband also. And you do also get a cup, I believe, but I feel, I think you have to like email this or that person in order to get it, and which I didn't do, because for me, it's just a cup. But maybe some at some point, maybe I will do it, I don't know, but I don't know, probably not. But either way, definitely pretty cool stuff. But yeah, moving on to pictures. Uh, eventually they got to me, and here is my picture with Creator and Sepultura. But yeah, uh, after we got our pictures with the band, they let us hang out in the inside the venue and get merch. And when it comes to merch, um, I only got one thing, and that is this Sepultura shirt right here on the back. You got the tour dates. But yeah, pretty cool shirt. Gonna be wearing it tomorrow, actually. But yeah. Moving on into the show, uh, the opener was Spirit World, and I've heard of this band before. I've heard a few of their songs. Um, I thought the the songs that I heard, I can't remember which songs, but I thought the songs that I heard were decent, but nothing that I could see myself returning to or get excited over or anything like that. But when it comes to their performance at the show, I thought they're actually pretty good. 
But I will admit, their songs did start to blend together a little bit for me, in my opinion. Things started to sound a little bit samey as the sh as their set went on. But either way, even with all that, I thought their performance was actually pretty. They're actually pretty fun live. They were pretty cool to see. But moving on from Spirit World, uh, came on uh, Death Angel, and Death Angel was definitely a fun, energetic band to see live. Um, definitely really awesome and. Where when it came, when it comes to where I was at, I was right at the front, towards the right of the stage. So it was definitely really close to whoever was playing at that corner of the stage. But yeah, definitely really cool. Uh, Death Angel was definitely awesome. And honestly, when it comes to Death Angel Creator or Sepultura, which which band was my favorite of the show or of that night, definitely a really tough call for me personally. But either way, Death Angel was definitely really awesome. But moving on from Death Angel, we have Creator and. Creator, to no surprise, also really great. But I will admit, of the three bands, this band probably had my least favorite set list, um, mainly because it kind of felt like there was more of their more modern stuff than their older work. But and don't get me wrong, I do like their newer stuff, but I would have, would have liked to see more stuff from like Coma of Souls or even play something from Terrible Certainty, which they didn't play anything off that album, but. When it comes to older material, they did play People of the Lie, of course, definitely a great song. That was the song that got me hooked on the band. Uh, they also played Betrayer, another great song. They played Pleasure to Kill, which was the closer, and uh, yeah, they played Flag of Hate, and there might have been one other one, I can't remember, but they opened up with Hey Uber Alice, and definitely one of the best songs from the album, and along with... Uh, Conquer and Destroy, which might be my favorite on the album. I really, I really like that song. Maybe one of the best songs they've done when it comes to their modern era, at least in my opinion. But yeah, Creator, definitely really cool live. But after Creator came on Sepultura, the final band. And I was actually pretty impressed with Sepultura. Uh, I thought Derek Green actually did a fairly good job, even with when it came to the stuff with uh, Max, when it comes to the Max Cavalier material, I thought he did fairly solid with that material, especially during Territory, but a gripe I do have with uh, Sepultura's performance is that there are moments where I felt they really could have turned uh, Dara Green's mic up a bit more so we can hear him a little bit better. And it would have been cool to see them play something from Beneath the Remains because they didn't play anything off that album, which I'm a, I'm a tad butthurt about. But either way, it is what it is. But they did play Arise, the title track, and they did play Refuse, Resist, and Territory and uh propaganda but they didn't play dead Bion Ed dead embryonic cells and desperate cry which kind of sucks but either way it is what it is they do have a fairly long discography so fairly understandable for, for it to be difficult to make a set list but they did play means to an end from their latest album quadra and that's probably my favorite song on the album so that, that was definitely cool to hear that song live but yeah and of course they ended things off with roots blade roots another great song definitely an iconic song for them but yeah, Sepultura definitely put on a great performance to no surprise. It was definitely really cool to be super close to Andreas Kisser though. He was like, I don't know, three or four feet away from me or something like that. But yeah, definitely really awesome. Really great show. And if these bands are coming near your, t near your town, definitely go and see them. Definitely support the band. And if you want to take things a step forward or take things to the next level definitely go ahead and do vip it's definitely worth it um but yeah overall had a really great time but anyways that's my vip experience with these bands let me know your thoughts uh have you seen these bands have you done vip for these bands and all that good stuff but anyways thanks for watching please leave a comment and a like subscribe have a nice day and take care